Hang on, love. It's me solicitor. You go and open up for us, will you? Hello? Hiya. How much? That, that is ridiculous. It's my solicitor. Hold on. You tell him I won't accept a penny less. No, no, you can tell him the villa is absolutely not on the agenda. The villa is the only asset that's actually worth any money. Well, then tell her. Tell him I'll, I'll see, see him, him in court. court. I was just going to bring you this. Is it Mother's Day? You think all it takes is a cup of tea? No. No, David. It'll take a lot more than that to get round Sarah. I know. It's going to take a hell of a long time before you win anyone's trust back. Hey, that was funny, love, wasn't it? You've got a bit, that was funny. You want to slug it out in court, Danny, that is fine by Frank, me. Frank, I only said that for the solicitor's benefit. You know how they wind you up, love. Anyway, it makes sense. I mean, we could save ourselves a lot of time and money if we sat down and spoke man to man. I want the full protection of the law before I talk to you. Suit yourself, but the lawyers are the only ones that will come out of this smiling. I don't trust you, Danny. I never will. Fair enough. Just an idea. You guys got a point, you know? Don't you agree with him? I've been texting you all morning. Where have you been? Oh, my mum's at the back travel phone. She said some obsessive compulsive. <laughs> if anyone's obsessive, it's her. Can you imagine what a shrink you'd make of her? Oh, don't say that. She's not mad. No, she just takes a very close interest in everything you do. It's so weird not having a phone. Is this part of the act? I'm helping mum. You're sucking up to mum. Sarah. Pretending that you're sorry, just like you pretended you knew nothing about them Sarah. cards. You lied then, and you're lying now. I'm gonna go get ready for school, or I'll be late. You're not going to school. I'll phone him. What? Why? Yeah, why? You're not gonna tell him. No. I'll tell them you're poorly. Mum, maybe you should tell them. Maybe they'll take it a bit more seriously, beat some sense into Thank him. Thank you, Sarah. I'll deal with this in my way. Oh, a day off school. Great punishment. I can't believe this. I don't want the school to know because I don't want anyone to know. And that includes Jason. We tell each other everything. I don't want him to know. Well, what about Gran? Well, she'll have to know, obviously. I'll tell her to call round this dinner time. Yeah, right. Don't tell her what it's about. Mum, why are you protecting him? I'm protecting the whole family. Please, Sarah, do as I say. What about this, troops, eh? British builders at their best. At last, the factory resembles something from the 21st century. Woo! Thank you very much. And who needs Kiri Tick an Hour when you've got 20 sewing machines singing in perfect harmony? Kiri Takes an Hour? Not Kiri Takes an Hour, please. Fuzz, you plum. Kiwi ticket now, a New Zealand bird opera sing. Well, I thought you'd been to up Mr. Baldwin. Oh, yeah, Jojo. Very cultured me, love. Ever since the car stereo and my old box that got jammed on Classic Nouveau. Besides that, I'm a middle-aged man. Can't carry on Poe going all my life, you know what I mean? All right, so that's why you've gone soft, is it? Middle-aged What are you talking about? I'm not soft. <laughs> You're not going on about me talking to Frankie out there, are you? Was you eavesdropping? Uh, no, I'm talking about you giving that thief the job back. I'm not a thief, I'm innocent. What's it got to do with her, anyway? The pair of you shut up, all right? I decided she deserved another chance. Yeah, well, she's hardly likely to pay you back with your years of loyal service, is she? She'll be inside by end of week. Hey, let's all hope she never gets cobbed for jewellery service, eh? <laughs> Keep you off school so you could sit watching telly all day. Come on. I've been promising to sort this lot out for ages. It's just junk, chuck it out. It isn't junk. It cost over 200 quid. Extreme prejudice. Hmm. Sure, this is going to help you grow up into a well-rounded human being. It's a game. Really? And were these cards a game, too? Maybe. Talk to me, David. I want to understand. Seven Hollingwood Avenue. That's for you by name. Don't know what you mean. That's because I helped catch a budgie the other day. What was he doing in the car? It wasn't. I helped carry her shopping into the house, and that's when I noticed Bernie wasn't in his cage. Right, well, she wants running to the hospital. Mm, she's got a thyroid problem. Right, well, don't be going in with her, because I want you at uh, St Jude's Health Club in half an hour. Keep the 
customer happy, that's what you always say. No, we don't go befriending every single one of them. Look, you can't let people like Leanne Basby get to you. Yeah, but what if she's right? What if I do get sent down? You won't. But I can't prove my innocence without Becky. Eh? You'll probably just get community service or probation. No judge in his right mind is going to send you to jail. <sighs> Bank on it. Who asked your opinion? Well, I'm just saying the fact whether you did it or not means diddly squat when you got a good brief tearing into you. Steve, can you not try and be a bit more supportive? I'm sorry, just being realistic. Well, I were going to go and see my solicitor today, but maybe there's no point. Maybe I'll just stay at home. Maybe I'll just pack, you know, prepare for my last few days of freedom. Good idea. Thanks. Don't listen to him, babe. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah. Anyway, right, better go. See you later. What are you like? Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought you were giving a false soap, you know. She needed a balanced opinion. You must be thinking something, David. David? Nobody ever listens to me. They do. Nobody cares what I think. I might as well be invisible. You know, the only time you take any notice of me is when I've done something wrong. You're hardly starved of attention, then. You don't say anything when I do something right. I do. Don't I? You just get on my back all the time. So, you did this to get attention? Is that what you're saying? I did it because I couldn't stand you and him playing happy families. I hated him so much. And I hated you for liking him. Phil. You mean Phil. So if this was about me and Phil, why did you carry on sending the cards after I stopped seeing him? I just wanted you to think it were him. Why? Right, there we go. I won't be a sec. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, Sarah, my love, when you finish sweeping up, would you nip to Roy's? I'm famished. Yeah, I can, but um, my mum's asked me to ask you if you'll pop over at dinner. Really? Oh, well, it better be important. I've got to come back to a load of curly birds. It's important, all right. Why? What's happened? I can't tell you. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be daft. Of course you can tell me. I can't. It's a state secret. I've been forbidden. Is it to do with the cards? Oh, ask me, mum. Oh, it is, isn't it? Have they arrested Phil? Hmm? Sarah, come on. Tell me. I lay in bed last night trying to work out why you'd do this. You're not a bad lad. I know that. I won't do it again. You're right. I don't listen. I've no idea what you were going through. You can't throw this out. What, smelly old ball boot? It's often not with it. I don't know. Let me first proper footy boots. Dad got me in when I got picked to play for school under 10s. Well, I can't be such a bad man, because I remember watching your first match. We're freezing. Yeah. It were against sand pits. You and Dad even stood on touchline cheering every time I touched the ball. You miss your dad, don't you? Lords. Is it true what Sarah's just told me? Get Is it him. true? Get David him. sent the Leave card! Leave him! David! Look at me! Get off him! Right! Uh, now who wants to earn 50 quid for a couple of hours work, eh? Come on. Don't all rush at once. Hey, Steve, why don't you call the drivers? Well, they're all out on jobs, mate. Great. Keith! 
case! Well, just another 50 and uh, put it down to sale or return. All right, Frank, what can we do for you? I need a word. Right. Um, yeah, sure, of course you can. Go through. Do you want some coffee? Please. Two coffees leave when you've got a minute. Oh, I'll have a tea, thanks. A black coffee and a digestive for me. Walk in here and attack my son. I won't stand for it. How could you do it, David? How? How could you put us all through it? Ma'am, calm down. Oh, no, calm down. After what he's done, he needs a bloody good hiding. Yeah, well, he's not getting one, not from you or anybody else. How could you play such a vindictive, spiteful trick on your own family, David? Why would you do that? Well, we were just getting to the bottom of that, ma'am, when you came round shouting the odds. Yeah, by talking. Yes, by talking. Something that's in short supply around here sometimes. Do you know Sarah's right? He's making you look a right monkey. I'm doing things in my way. Oh, burying your head in the sand as usual. David, go to your room. Let me and your gran have a talk. You can't go outside. I've been stuck in all day. You're supposed to be off school. Somebody might see you. You'll be just outside. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Well, this is an unexpected but very pleasant surprise. I'm not here for a social visit. OK, so what can I do for you? I've been thinking about what you said. You want us to call off the divorce? Don't joke, Danny. I want us to talk, sort something out. Well, I'm glad to hear it. But I'm warning you, you try pulling a fast one. Hey, Frank, I'll keep both my hands where you can see them, love. Good, because if you play straight with me, I'll play straight with you. OK, you have my word. I wouldn't mind, but it's your side being dragging the reels. Yes, Frankie. You know why that is, don't you, love? Danny, there is no chance of a reconciliation if you're still clinging on to some vain hope. Look, I am clinging on to a villa in Spain. Fine. Well, I'm prepared to be reasonable. I'm not trying to rip you off. Well, I know that. But I can't move on. You can't move on until we've settled this once and for all. OK, you're right. Let's do a deal. Cheers, Lee. You put sugar in my love? Up. Leanne, sweetheart, do you mind leaving us alone? Well, I'd sooner not, Danny, because I've got family to do. Away. Besides, what's so important that I can't hear it? We're going to sort out the divorce, love. Nothing for you to worry about. All oh, right, well, I think he's made you a very generous offer. Lee, please. Do it later, then. Thank you. Shut the door. Isn't the voice of doom and gloom? I thought it was the voice of reason, actually. Oh, hello, Claire. Hiya. Oh, whilst I remember, there's temporary traffic lights on Bridge Street. It's getting really snarled up. I'll tell the others to avoid it if I were you. OK. Uh, how was Doris? Actually, no. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I mean, you, you've got to at least let her cling to the vain hope that somehow justice will prevail. That the indomitable human spirit will win through. Was it a first offence? No. Two years minimum. Maybe longer. Are you talking about Kelly? Yeah. Hanging Judge MacDonald here thinks she'll get life. I think she should plead guilty. To something she didn't do. <sighs> the law's mad. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? She'll just get a lesser sentence, maybe even a suspended sentence. You can't plead guilty to something you didn't do. You can if it means you can walk away. I think she should throw herself at the mercy of the judge. Grovel. I know. How can it be right to lie? Because if telling the truth lands you in it, lie, lie, lie. That's my motto. Hello, street cars. Hey. If Jack Duckworth offers you a hot tip, don't listen to him. 20 quid I've just lost. Right. What am I saying? You wouldn't go near a bookie. It'll be the Royal Enclosure of Aintree, the next bet you put on. Yeah, well, I won't bank on it. Are you all right? I reckon I'm as lucky with men as you are with horses. Hey, but you picked a winner with Danny, haven't you? Have I? She upset you. What's he done? Nothing. It's just... He's in fact you Frankie now. 
He hasn't done the dirty on you. I'll kill him no, if he has. No, they're just talking about the divorce. Well, that's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, but they've been in there ages, Dad. Yeah, well, they're probably trying to decide who has the lava lamp. <laughs> that was the main sticking point between me and Jan. Do you know what? When she walked in the room, his face lit up. He never looks at me like that. I can't see why you're jealous of that stuck-up cow. She'll be back off to London once she's cleaned him out. Is that, is that what's worrying you? That there'll be no money left for you once she's finished? No. Do you know what? I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but... I couldn't care less about the money, Dad. It's him I want. Well, I mean, you have got it bad, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Come here. stick. You just gave me the tension. All oh, right. Well, I didn't go because I was seeing Rosie, so. Give me another one. Let's give you two. Yeah. Oh. After all he's done, you just let him go out there and play football. He knows he's in big trouble. I haven't let him off the hook. You should come down on him like a ton of bricks. So what? Hit him? Ground him? Yes! If that's the only way you can get through to him. And what if all that does is cause resentment? Oh! Oh, I see, we've all got to tiptoe round David now, have we? No. Oh, yes, be extra nice to David. Otherwise, he may play some awful little tricks on us all. Gail, this needs nipping in the bud now. Yeah, I completely agree. I just don't think we see eye to eye on how it should be done. So what's your answer, then? Just... Talking to him, is that it? Yeah, that's what I'll do. And spend more time with him. And make up for the fact he's only got one parent. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to stop bringing home strange men who terrorise him. Oh, oh, I see. So it's your fault. Or it's Martin's fault. Or it's Richard's fault. Everybody's fault but David's. He's very unhappy. <sighs> Gail, he needs to be dealt with. Oh, like you dealt with me? Oh, God. You never did anything like this. How would you know? You were never around to see. Oh. I'm sorry, ma'am. You come round here telling me how to deal with my son. You're no expert on the matter. If I was such a bad mother, Gail, how come you've turned out like you have? I could have easily got in with a bad lot. Easily. And if I had, we wouldn't have seen you for dust. Look. You are trying to protect your son, I know that. That's why you're lashing out at me. I'm lashing out because I think you're wrong. Right. OK, fair enough. You don't want my opinion? No. Not if it's going to make the situation worse. Gail, yeah, maybe you're right, OK? Maybe my views are 30 years out of date. But, love, what he did is a terrible thing. Yeah. And we have to work out why he did what he did. No, I think we've got to make sure that he never ever does it again. We've got to put the fear of God into him. No! Yes, Gail, yes! I mean it! Now, you either put a stop to this or I will. Huh? And you got homework to do? Oh, look, just give us half an hour, yeah? Just clear my head and then I'll be up there on the computer again. What are you doing, anyway? He's just nicked your job. You what? Don't worry, it's only for this afternoon. Right, so it'll be two or three hours max. Just need to go and pick up a van and load up with my stuff. Oh, don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Where are you moving to? Flat by the shop. Sneak is moving to the house with the kids. Oh, that's nice. Nice? Oh, it's more than nice, Keith. It's absolutely fantastic. Been in there a long time, don't you think, Leanne? No, not really. Do you want me to get you a glass to shove against the door? <laughs> <laughs> Basically not funny. Uh, where are you going with that? Mr Baldwin wants to check these personally. They're in your line. Uh, I'll show him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but uh, you wanted to check these in person. Uh, yeah, I did, sir. Sorry. So, if 
Everything all right, is it? So far, so good. Although we are at a very delicate stage, so uh, if you wouldn't mind, Lee, you know. They're fine, by the way. Is it? Like an ain't last. Mrs. Platt? Yes? We're here in connection with the hoax cards. 